Hi guys. Hi. Hello. So let me take you guys through this video right quick. And first thing is first. I'm not telling. I'm not telling and advising men to stay single forever. I'm not telling you this. I'm not advising you this. I'm just telling you why a lot of men are staying single forever. So don't get it messed up. Don't get it mixed up. Don't take things as how you feel. Take them as they are instead of being in feelings all the time. Just, oh my God, he's making me feel this way. So that's what he's saying. That's not what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't listen to just hear me. Listen to what I'm actually saying. Like, can, are, are you capable of this? Like, are you capable of this? Are you? Good. The reason so many men today are staying single and a lot of them, you see it everywhere in comment sections, you see it all over the place. I'm staying single forever. I got my peace. I got this. I got that. For the simple reason that everything they've done, all the good things they've ever done, got taken for granted. They got screwed. Every man has taken else, including myself. Some men have had it a lot worse than me. I definitely got screwed before, but I'm not going to sit here and, oh, poor me. It was just terrible. Oh, my God. I got screwed. But, like, I'm good. Like, moving forward. The thing is, it's just going to take something very special for me or a lot of other men to even budge. Like, something very special. Today, women have all these standards across the board but when it comes to us when it comes to us wanting a standard wanting a certain thing it is demonized women's preferences are encouraged yeah you go girl he don't make that money. oh don't settle girl wait for the knight in shining armor to come save them Day. Even though you had a messed up past, even though you got ran through, still wait for him, sis, because he's going to come. It gets praised. Everything about a woman's standards gets praised, even if she don't qualify for that knight in shining armor. And this is the truth. Like it, love it, hate it, it don't matter. Either way, it don't matter because the truth is the truth. And this is what it is. Men have preferences as well. I'm not saying you can't have a preference even if it's delusional. You're still entitled to your preferences. But men have preferences too. So that's going to take some accountability from you. And the reason most men are staying single forever is because their preferences from day one has got demonized. They land themselves in certain situations and positions with females and they got screwed. And they just know in their logical brains that these modern day women today is not the answer. It's not it. Life is better without them. And you know what? The right woman is a great addition to a man's life, but how many are, are, how many of the right women are actually out there? That's the question. And on both sides, it's debatable. But we live in a day and age where even women, the smarter women of the world that are on podcasts admit themselves, women today with the social media and all this stuff, have become very toxic, very narcissistic, very stuck in their ways, very delusional, like really delusional. Like they're not even like human no more. It's like, what is this? What the is this? What? <laughs> what? What is this? 
as soon as you question them, oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. You can't even question them. And it's the, the rudeness, the bitchy behavior. All the stuff. You yes, already know. The masculine presence. Da 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 Coming from them. Who is you pointing your finger at like that at me, Paul? What is you doing? <laughs> but yeah. Most women today is not the answer. It's going to take that one special person as a man. You got to get lucky one time. Because there are some good apples out there. But it's like, it's like the apple tree with so many apples and most of them are rotten and there's that one apple on top, near the top, and it's like, that one is it. I want it. <laughs> and I want to keep it. That's what you want to get. If it ain't that, don't do it. I say stay single. And I'm not telling you to. I'm advising you to. Every, every man and woman has to know their worth without being delusional. Because you're going to get what you deserve from the effort, from the work, from the contributions you put in on your own life. And a lot of women today are been backwards as well. They think doing all this extra bougie, bougie type stuff is going to make them more attractive. They listen to the Cardi B's and Nicki Minaj's. Looking up to girls like Brittany Renner. You can rent the damn thing off the damn cliff. Because you ain't getting nowhere with that type of attitude there. You ain't getting nowhere with it. Save it. <coughs> Save it. Because it ain't getting you, get, 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 getting you nowhere. Nowheres. Every stud that I know as a man or even as a younger fella, they are staying single and they are waiting it out to land hopefully on the woman they deserve. A lot of women also make terrible, terrible mistakes and decisions like like, what the fuck are you even thinking? Like, what are you thinking? Like, what even goes on up in here? Some women have, like, a very good guy when they're young. And they feel the need to dissolve the relationship. To go on out for years, going to these parties, drinking alcohol, you know what else? come back, be far less attractive than they were and think, and, and this guy has spent years building himself up and, and, and in value. This is a story for a lot of people, folks. And she thinks that she's like even better than she was. It's the delusion. And this is why I told you guys in a video probably about a week or two ago that we have to start telling women the honest to God truth even if it hurts their feelings because it's the only thing that's going to save anything. Nothing is going to get saved. Everything is going to be so messed up if we don't start telling them the truth and they have to know it deeply. Because they really think they can just live however and get the man they really want. It's not going to work. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. You will be disappointed. You're going to be very upset. Very upset. There's a list of women, brother. That's just marked off. Like, it's just like, once you see certain things, they don't understand this either. Like, it's done. <laughs> it's over. And if your life is going to be better being single 
or you could pick a woman far below your standard that you cannot put up with for a single half a day, let alone a day. You are very much so better off single because these women are not looking to come into your life to be an asset. They're looking to come into your life not only to be a liability, but to destroy your life. They're going to, it's like, it's no different than a toxic friend. It's no different than a toxic relative or family member or anything. It, like, it's even worse. It's worse than anything you could possibly think about. Vice versa. Because you're going to end up living with this person. You have a child with this person and they're a bad apple, you are Foxville. You are done. They're gonna torture you for life. I have an old friend that I'm not even friends with him no more. He used to be a great fella. Changed for the worst. Had a lot of potential. Was a lot like myself. But he went a terrible way. I went a great way. And that's the difference. It happens. But he's in a terrible position. He has two different kids with two different baby mamas. He's younger than myself. He had the first kid at 19. The second kid at 21 or 22. Two different girls. Not with none of them now. But he's tied to one of them. And this is a very toxic female that he is tied to. And she ruins his life. Like, completely ruins his life. Total psychopath. Let's not talk about narcissism. This is a total psychopath. And it's ruining him. He's already ruined. Like, like hands down, he is ruined. A lot of men today, like there is a lot of pros to social media. We see the actions and behaviors of women all across the world. And it's like men are only getting smarter as the days are going by. Women have benefited for such a long time and the tables are absolutely turning. One million percent the tables are turning. And I don't even want to sit here and be like, yeah, fellas and like be against women and stuff because I don't want it to be that vibe. I'm just saying this is the truth. Like I love women. The right women. That is. Just like the right friends. I love my right friends. I love my real friends. I love real women. I love my real family. Not backstabbing bums. Not toxic individuals that can't even contain themselves. I love what is real. I love what is genuine. I love what is pure. And I despise toxicity. I've seen so damn much of it in my life. I put up with so damn much of it in my life. It's going to make my head turn. It's going to make my head spin, I should say. Not turn. Not just turn this way or this way. Fucking head's going to spin. Like a globe, you just whoop. The globe just going like this. Sickening to death. To death. But you just get it. You just get the point. I would argue there's far more toxic, narcissistic, sociopathic, psychopathic women today than men. Like, hands down. Look at their behavior, brothers. Look at their behavior online or anywhere else. They're deceptors. It's all deception. And this is why a shitload of men, and I've seen a shitload of comments of them, and I believe them. I one million percent believe them when they say, Bruh, I'm staying single. Forever. There's some men in their 30s, in their 40s, and they're like, I'm 1 million percent staying single forever. Like, no chance. 
Like they're set in it and you can tell that motherfucker ain't lying, bruh. And I can see why. Like I can see why. Like I'm not like I'm not like, well, well, maybe uh, I, I see why. I definitely see why. And I don't blame you. I'm not sitting here with advice for anybody telling you to stay single forever or saying get married. It's whatever you think is best for yourselves. This is not an anti-women video. This is none of that. This is just the truth. I know how I am going to go about things. I know how a lot of other people are going to go about things as well. I have conversations with lots of friends regarding these topics. Friends where I come from, friends away, friends everywhere. Associates as well. Even sometimes in the gym, little chitter chatter stuff about this kind of stuff. And I'm telling you, it's full well. We're not stupid. Some of us are even brighter than others. And it's like, <laughs> like I know my strategy and it's not going to change. And I know what I will put up with and what I won't put up with. And it's very, very simple. Like, I think the world would be a better place if women just knew their place because they're confused today, brothers. A lot of women today are confused. They're getting information in the wrong places. They're looking, they're looking into the wrong things. They're not. The way they're acting is rather crazy. Like more than anything else. And I even get why some of them do that kind of stuff. Like I get it. It's not like I don't understand. I don't understand why it's like this. Oh my God. Like I, I get it. I can get why you might want to act crazy. <laughs> like I get it. But what you also have to get with that being said. Is that it's not going to get you anywhere. It ain't going to get you anywhere. Like. Women are to be seen. Not to be heard. Women have to know their place. Women have to know when to speak up and when to not speak at all. You have to know when you, you can't just nag your boyfriend and annoy him and just, I, well, it's what I want. Well, if we can't even talk like this, and I don't, I don't even want that anyway. Like, that's the problem. Women don't know their place. They're confused. And I think they would just rather live an annoying based life rather than like get the right man and like act right. They would rather just live this crazy, exotic, annoying life. Because in our eyes, and I don't care if you care, this is just how we view it. It's hella annoying. It's loud. A lot of you are rude, aggressive. And it's not cute. You see some women who actually have it together. And they say things like, when I go with my man to these sporting events, I don't go around talking to all the other guys around. I shut up. I only speak when I'm told to, to be spoken to. That is a real woman. It's up to us men to lead the dance. We are the creators. Women are the nurturers. They don't want to be nurturing. They want to try to create and go again and, and go like go against the grain. They want to create. They want to be bougie. This bad bitch. Oh, 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 oh. and it's like chill because we don't want that anywhere near us. We have friends for a reason. That shit just don't even look right. That shit don't even seem right. Like, what the fuck are you even thinking, mate? Like, what are you thinking? Like, what even goes on up in here? I don't know. But it's crazy. Like, you're supposed to be a sweet, kind, nurturing, loving woman. But where is it? The 
the percentage in the world of this kind of stuff nowadays is so low. Very low. And if I am to give a piece of advice to men in this video, I say, do not settle unless you get this type of behavior. Because there's so many men that have decided to put up with that kind of shit. And they had enough of it. They've experienced years of it, if not 10 to 15 to 20 sometimes. And now they're like, oh, they're just repulsed. They are absolutely sick. And it's like, never again. I'm single for life. They're going to need to just be alone just to recover from all that bullshit. You guys hear that? There was an ambulance that just drove by. I don't know if you guys could hear that. But it's off. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> like so many guys went through like a, a, a big majority of life with that. Like even in my past situation, like as a teenager leading up to about 19 to 20 to 21 years old in that range. After I went through like three girls in the span of like 16 to 21 some of them being a long time, four years with one, and the other two, couple years tops with the other two. I had enough of that for a while. Like, it was time for me to, I'm ignoring everything. I'm just, I'm going my way. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to create the life I'm going to live. And that's how it's going to go down. And later down the line, if things work out, great. And I think that's the correct mindset for a man to have, not a woman, a fucking man. The correct mindset for a woman, as young as humanly possible, you want to up your skills <laughs> in that kitchen. <laughs> cleaning skills, you know, but no, for real, um, you just want to like, not, you want to be different. Like a lot of women claim to be, they think they're special. They think they're different. And yeah, <laughs> you might be different, not the good kind of different a lot of the time. Cause they all think they're just special and different and all this other stuff. I don't want to be too mean about this, but yes, you might be different in, in, in your own ways. Yeah, you might be, but is it a good kind of different in the eyes of a man? Probably not. Probably not. You're either a tolerable woman or you're not, and most just today are not. There are a lot of, a lot of shit going on. So, as young as possible, you want to impress the man of your dreams. And it's as simple as that. And you're not going to impress him by being Miss Independent, Cardi B, Nick, Nicki Minaj, being a baby. You're not going to do it by any of that, by any means. You're just not. So save it. Save it. Because you're not. <laughs> you're not going to do it. Every guy around you is going to be dipping and dodging. Including myself. You've been dipping. You've been dodging. But guess what? We coming back to save the day. You just want to make sure you get saved. So you might want to act right. You ladies want to impress the right man. And not just up front. And you have him and now you change in your ways. You want to always impress your man. Just like your dream man is going to continuously impress and inspire yourself. That's the type of partners we all want. Are we clear? Good. I'm out for now.